The topic in this video is about multidimensional arrays. Multidimensional arrays are like arrays inside another arrays. There are two types of multidimensional arrays, two-dimensional and three-dimensional. We will focus on two-dimensional arrays. Just like a normal array, two-dimensional array has square brackets, but this time there's two. Those brackets also represents index. Index for the first bracket represent rows. Index for the second bracket represent columns. It is worth noting that the size of the columns for each rows are of the same size. It can be read as num array row index, column index, or num array row index zero, column index one. That length returns a different value on two dimensional arrays. A normal num array that length would return the size of the rows, which is two. A num array that length with index would return the size of the columns, which is three. This would return out of bounds exception if the index weren't used correctly. Below is an example of before and after values of an array's index. You can also see there how can we access or manipulate the elements of the arrays. Let's test the program. The value of num array that length is two. Well, the value of num array index one that length is three. This is an example of two dimensional array where we can initialize the size of the rows and columns. Syntax is pretty much the same with one dimensional arrays, except for the two brackets representing row size and column size. In getting the inputs, we will be using nested loops. Parent loop must be dependent on the size of the rows. Child loop must be dependent on the size of the columns. The input part is on the child loop. As you can see, the index are addressed using the variables on both loops. And then there's next in for the input. Displaying the values of the arrays is the same. We're using nested loops. Parent loop for the rows and child loop for the columns. There's also a loop below displaying the values of arrays in tabular format. In short, rows and columns will be displayed in table format. Let's test the code. Row size is 3, column size is 3, and the values are 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, and 9. And there you go.